We're going to continue our work looking at summing finite series using the method of differences. This was a, a previous exam question, and on, on the face of things, it doesn't seem that straightforward. But it's one little trick that we can look at and see that it's fairly logical. If we think about the natural log of a divided by b, we can write this now as the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. So if we consider what we've got on the first bit, quite clearly this is the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 2. Okay, And then on the next bit we've got the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3. Okay, And then on the next one we've got the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 4. Right the way up, remember we're taking r from 1 to n, we've got the natural log of n minus the natural log of n plus 1. So essentially what we're doing here is summing the series from r equals 1 to n of the natural log of r over r plus 1. That's what we're looking for, okay? So that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be summing that right there. And we can express this now in the, exactly the same way. We can just write this now as the sum from r equals 1 to n of the natural log of r minus the natural log of r plus 1. So let's build up a little table and fill those out. So that's the general sum that we're looking for. Okay, so let's do this and we'll start with n is equal to 1 and go up to, uh, sorry, r is equal to 1 and go up to r is equal to n. So let's put r is equal to 1. When r is equal to 1, what we're going to have is the natural log now of r minus the natural log of r plus 1. So we're going to have now, when r is 1, we're going to have ln of 1. ln of 1 is 0, minus ln of 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then we'll have r is equal to 2. We'll have the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3. Okay, and you can see this is the pattern that we've got, and I'm kind of re uh, repeating what we've got. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll be interested now in dot, 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 and we'll now look at when r is equal to n minus 1, the penultimate term. So what we'll have is ln of n minus 1 minus ln of n minus 1 plus 1, which is ln of n, okay? So the next one, what we're going to have is the following. We're going to have r is going to be equal to the final term n, and we'll have the natural log of n minus the natural log of n plus 1. So if we now consider, what we can say then is that the sum, and we can sum this from r equals 1, to n of the natural log of r over r plus 1 is going to be equal to the following. All of these are going to cancel. We know from our work before that these are going to cancel off. That one is going to cancel with that one. That one is going to cancel with that one and so on and so forth. Right the way down. And you can see it's going to go right the way down to this point right here. So all of these are going to cancel. That leaves us now with the following. We end up with the natural log of 1, which is 0, minus the natural log of n plus 1. So we could write this as minus uh, the natural log of n plus 1. Or, using log laws, we could write this as the natural log of n plus 1 to the minus 1, which, of course, is the natural log of 1 over n plus 1. And that is the sum now of the series from r equals 1 to n of the natural log of r over r plus 1 is the natural log of 1 over n plus 1. Or you could just put it as the negative natural log of n plus 1.